Hi, my name is Paul Rustan. I'm a body painter and photographer from Redondo Beach, California. I've been doing photography for about 10 years now, and I've been a body painter for 12 years. I, I took my first photography class when I was in college, and I started taking it seriously after I started painting body painting. Body painting taught me that I, I kind of don't really enjoy drawing or painting. I, when, I, when I was doing illustration in comic books, I would actually draw uh, I, would, I wouldn't like the process of drawing, I preferred the result. So I would suffer a little bit as I was drawing, laboring over the illustrations. And when I got to the result, I didn't always like it. Actually, most of the time, I didn't like it. I love Stanley Kubrick's visual eye, and I love how he does things the way he wants to do them. Uh, he does not seem to be affected by the pressures of movie studios or anyone telling him how to do things. He does it his way and that's the only way. With my work I'm often hired to paint on set and so a lot of times I've been around huge crews but with my own work, with my own conceptual studio work, it's usually just me. I don't use big studio lights, I usually use man-made lights or, or small flashes, if not just natural light. But I, I usually just like me and the model, just the two of us. So sometimes I'll have a third photographer on set documenting the process. Uh, most, most body painting is recognized as commercial body painting with like Sports Illustrated, Mag Sports Illustrated magazine and uh, you know, Mardi Gras and Fantasy Fest. But my stuff, I think, you know, it's, it's on, on the side of gallery, gallery artwork and uh, a little bit more conceptual stuff that celebrates women and men. I think new photographers and new art, any artist or of any kind, uh, I think the most important thing when it comes to learning your craft is to first uh, become comfortable with the techniques and understanding the techniques, master the techniques. And once you've done that, throw it all out the window and just start exploring. And uh, uh, you should always have a little bit of fear and panic with whatever project you're, you're trying to do. You want to be outside your comfort zone and you want to learn from that. You want to fail as hard as possible, learn from it, and you're going to grow. If, if you're not a little bit nervous, then you're not learning. When it came time for body painting, you have to work really, really fast. You can't set it aside and finish it two weeks later. You have to finish the painting in three to four hours, and then I get to take pictures of it. So the process part was, was brought down a lot, which I enjoy. And then the, the result was even better, because once the model starts moving, my artwork on her starts breathing new life, and I get to see it as if someone else painted it.